Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Megan. You guys probably know me as Digital's Meg. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure how long this YouTube thing is gonna last, if you guys are even interested. I didn't really plan to make tutorials, because to be honest, when I take photo, if you hear, if you hear random, if you hear really random sounds, my dog is on my bed, like, going crazy. Kiwi. <laughs> Um, when I edit, I don't necessarily think about the steps I'm doing. I kind of just do it really quick, usually, you know, kind of like that. I'm also really bad at explaining things and talking in general, so let's see how this goes. Um, a lot of these photos that you guys have requested, I show you how I edit them, are months old, so I don't know the exact steps that I did, but we're kind of just going to rework it again, and I'll obviously screen record so you guys can see all that. But yeah, let's just get into it. I personally don't see myself as that good of an educator because I don't know how to explain things and I don't necessarily do things the technical way. Um, I failed the only photo class I ever took, so I am self-taught. But I think if you are also a visual learner, when I show you my computer screen, that could help. But I don't use like all the technical terms when it comes to the tools and stuff. I'm gonna show you specifically how I do it. Doesn't mean it's the right way, doesn't mean it's how you have to do it, it's just how I do it. Everyone, every designer, every photographer has their own techniques and talent and what, how they do things, so personal preference. All right, let's jump into my computer screen. The photo that I'm going to start with today is one of my recent favorites that I've taken. I think I took it like three or four months ago. Um, it's with this influencer, Meredith Duxbury. She was really, really sweet, really, really cool. A lot of followers on TikTok, you probably have seen her. She's the girl who does the um, makeup foundation videos that everyone gets really annoyed with, but I think they're fun. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is the original image, like the raw, straight from my camera. And then this is the final, which is I'm going to show you every step that I did how to get there. But first I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes, so why don't you come on to the photo shoot with us and let me show you how we took it. Okay, so the first thing I do is I bring the image into Lightroom and I don't even want to hear it. I know I use the quote unquote wrong Lightroom. There's two different versions. This is like the one that not real photographers use. It's such bullshit. Like honestly, I've used both. I like this one. It's easier. I think it's because it's simplified a little bit. I do a lot of concert and tour work. And with those, you gotta take the photos and finish editing them before the artist is even off stage most times. So this is just easy. I know what I want to do and I leave it at that. You could do all these things in uh, your Lightroom version if you have a different one than mine. What I'm gonna do is I don't do any color correcting right now. I just make it so I just have the model. What I'm gonna do then is go over to distortion, bring it to about 60 or so, vertical. And this is gonna give you the long legs that we're originally looking for. We're obviously gonna do a lot more of it in Photoshop, but this kind of just sets the baseline for what we're gonna do with it. I'm having a bad hair day, guys, so let's not comment on that, okay? Thank you. Okay, oh my God, I have so many tabs open in Photoshop, it's not even funny. I was just working on a project that's coming soon, so we're gonna pretend that didn't happen, okay? Okay. Now from here, I always, well not always, but most of the time I use a four to five ratio because that's the Instagram portrait ratio and a lot of my clients use photos for Instagram. So it just makes it easier so then you don't get the quote unquote Instagram crop that a lot of uh, designers and photographers hate. So what I'm gonna do there is just make it big enough so, you know, like that is fine. We can always adjust it later on. Save it, and we're gonna cut out the model, and for that I'm using the lasso tool. Side note, I watched Ted Lasso. That is a phenomenal show. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you do it. Jason Sudeikis, call me. <laughs> and then after that, we're gonna go to select inverse, and what that does is it basically selects everything that I didn't select the first time, and from that we're gonna do control, go to fill, and 100%. And then it's just gonna make the background orange, which is what I want. It's just a simple step just to fill in the background. Also, I don't know how in detail you guys want me to get in these tutorials. Like, do you need me to tell you like how you do content aware? I don't know. So for right now, I'm gonna show every step 
But if you guys are like Meg, we get the basics, like we're not fucking morons, we can, you know, save time there. And as you can see, sometimes it doesn't automatically fill everything you need it to. So what you can just do there is circle again and fill it until you get what you are comfortable with, what you want. Cause obviously you don't want like four of her knees right here, just fucking it up. Okay, so now you have what you kind of like, but if you can see, whenever you use a backdrop, most of the time, if it's not brand new, it'll have footsteps on it, or I don't know why I zoomed in on there. You, like, you can see like here, this has like a little blemish here. That you could easily get rid of with the spot healing tool, like, because there's only a few things here, but let's just say it was covered in footprint marks and dirt and stuff. There's a really easy way that you can just smooth it all out, and I'm gonna show you that right now. We're gonna go to the lasso tool again, and we're just gonna cut out the subject like this and just like we did before we're going to select the inverse and from there you're going to go to filter noise median and i usually do around the 100 mark that's usually what i find is blended enough but not so much where you're like ooh, click ok and what it does is it just kind of blends the image together the selection that you chose so you don't have to worry about blemishes or anything like that you just kind of have to go back in and spot heal what you want to make it blend in with the parts that weren't filled that made no sense even as i was saying it i was like that doesn't make sense but i'll show you in a second okay so now we're going to deselect and zoom in and now do you see the it's kind of hard to see but if you see this line that's where we drew the difference so you can see out here is all smooth and everything and then in here it's a little crusty what i like to do is i like to go to the heel brush tool which is right here select just any of the other colors and kind of just blend it you don't want to in most cases when I'm doing studio work, I like to keep the shadow of the model, which is what you would see right here. But for this specific photo, I add a very dramatic shadow of its own. So it doesn't really matter if you completely, you know, camouflage it. Um, <laughs> look at my hair. I, when I'm editing, honestly though, I'm in bed, like it's like 2 a.m. So this is what you guys get, but I actually put on a sweater and some jewelry today. So, although I will tell you my pants, are still my sweatpants that I sleep in and they have paint all over them. Cause she's an artsy bitch. Oh. All right, from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna distort the fuck out of her. And it kind of does what we just did in Lightroom with the distortion, but it just makes it a little bit more intense. We're gonna fill that out right there at the top. All right, I'm happy with that. You guys happy with that? Love the way it looks. All right, I'm gonna save it. From here, what I'm gonna do is cut out one of her legs and I go right to where the skirt line is just because that is a clean line. Copy and paste. And then you can see that we have the quadrillion legs. <laughs> and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna go to transform and distort just for that individual leg. We're gonna pull out one there, a little bit here and pull in. Just keep playing around till you get there. And you can see this little difference right here. We're gonna come back to that once we merge the layers, but for right now, we're gonna fix this issue. You're gonna open up your eraser, go hardness, mine is already all the way down to zero. Perfect, that's what you want. And just start erasing. It's okay if there's like a little bit of a difference in color because you are gonna correct that all in Lightroom after we do this. And it's gonna look like that for right now. And you guys can go ahead and merge the layers. And then we're gonna go back in here and just fix this little issue right here. We're gonna go to Spot Healing Brush and you can literally just fix it like that. I'm gonna quickly just do the exact same thing to her other leg that I just did and I'll see you guys in a hot sec. So from here, we are going to go to Filter and Liquify. And this kind of brings up an interface that I would compare to um, Facetune a little bit. That's pretty much what I use it for, you know, fixing up like jaw lines, you know, um, slimming, everything like that. But for here, we're gonna fix her feet. So you can see it's just a little too elongated even for the dramatic look that I'm going for. So we're gonna take the push tool. I don't know what it's called, what is it called? Doesn't have a name, great, love it. Um, and we're gonna slowly just push her feet together a little bit to give it more of um, a regular foot appearance and slowly drag down her knee with it so it looks more natural or as natural as this dramatic like um, Barbie doll kind of effect can be. I'm also going to use the 
enlarge tool because when you distort an image, it kind of slims, it narrows it all down. And I kind of just want to add some more meat to it. So I'm just gonna click just a little by a little just to make her ankles not so small. And then while we're here, we might as well just do some basic Photoshopping that I usually do. Like in this instance, you see how it sticks out right here. I usually would just fix that just a little. It also definitely comes down to client preference. Obviously, we're not here to give anybody body dysmorphia or anything, but if they do request it or like we've discussed it beforehand, I do smooth things out just a little. Or if it's like, you know, brand work where they want it all photoshopped to the nines. We're also gonna bring her head down just a little because it got stretched during the short, like I said. But when you do that, you want it to the circle, the middle of the circle to be her face because if it's down here, it doesn't drag the right part. You want it to be smack down in the middle because then it drags what you want. You can kind of move it just a little bit just how you want it. I'm actually gonna enlarge it slightly just so it gives that little bit of a brat stall look but just barely, do you see that? I think that was even too much. We're gonna go back and just do a little there. And then we're gonna zoom out and see how that looks. Okay, so we're definitely getting closer to what we want the final product to be. I love it so far. So we're gonna say, we can actually preview it so you guys see the changes that I made. You don't really notice it as you're doing it, especially with the legs, that moving the knee and just making the leg bigger again really makes it more natural given how unnatural it's supposed to look. And then we're gonna hit okay, and we're gonna move on to the next. From here, we are going to fill in just this little spot that rode up from before. You can do um, content fill, you can do whatever you want. I personally, I personally prefer just for small things like this, I just use the, um, spot healing and I'll just cover over and it'll do a pretty good job usually. Like, yeah, perfect. And then obviously if you look at the final image I did, she was more in the middle. Sorry, my dog's whining. Um, if you look at the final image I did, she was more in the middle and kind of small compared to the outline image. So I'm just gonna resize it, hit content aware up here and let it do its magic. All right, and you'll see it did a perfect job of filling in what I want to. But if we, oops, sorry. And if we zoom in, we will notice that because we redid the legs, there's a little bit of a shadow that we don't want. So we're also just gonna go right back in and just fill content aware 100%. We'll let it do its thing. From here, she's pretty much the way I would like it. Almost done, guys. I would just tweak a little bit here and there. I don't really like how this lace kind of doubles back. So we're just gonna, there you go. Simple as that. Just always looking over for little things I don't like. Like you don't really want her nipples hanging out. I mean, hey, some people like it. That's all up to you. Like this little ripple right here in her pants. Just gotta look everything over to make sure there's also like no acne, no stray hairs. Like her hair is pretty light, so you don't necessarily see it, but there are pieces that stick out the closer you get into it. But yeah, this is her makeup unedited. Like, are you kidding me? She's so freaking talented. It's ridiculous. I love her. Um, so yeah, from here, we are going to work on the shadow, which is ridiculously simple. What you're gonna do is select subject. Usually it does a pretty good job of cutting out a subject. In most cases, I'd have to go back and refine it just to make sure, you know, there's no things that were left out and stuff. Like, do you see here how it didn't pick up some of the orange? It thought it blended together which is fine in this case because we don't need a clear cut, but if you wanted an exact cutout of someone, you would have to obviously, you know, edit it. And they're gonna create her two more times and just layer them on top of each other like they were. You're going to select the middle image right here. Color overlay, again, you can make this look so much more natural if that's what you want in a shadow, but we're going for dramatic, like you fucking know this is not like real, but it's like in the best way. You're gonna go to blur, Gaussian blur. You know, I kind of mess around with the 100 mark. I just really like that. And then here, I'll get rid of that. So you can kind of see what it looks like there. Honestly, that's a little too much. So I might do another one, gives a little more, merge. I'm going to transform, distort. 
grab right here and just pull. All right, and I am happy with that. Obviously, it doesn't line up perfectly with her feet. We're gonna fix that, don't you worry. I'm gonna put the top image back over so you can see that it lines up. We're just gonna erase the parts we don't want. Perfect, love it. Now from here, we're going to go to blending mode and it really depends on the image, what I wanna do. I kinda just go through them all and see what I think looks best. Usually it's between like soft light or hard light, overlay, that kind of stuff. I think for this, we're gonna do with soft light and turn the opacity down. Yeah, love that. I honestly, you could leave it like this. I think I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do another layer of the shadow and blend that one out a little bit more so it's kind of diffused. Yeah, I like that look. And then from here, zoom back out. Yep, love it, because you can feel like the light is hitting from right here. Happy with it so far. And then we're gonna merge all the layers. And then we have to just make it a little more natural, you know, like right here, there should be a deeper shadow where this one is oversecting, intersecting. So we're gonna go to the burn tool and just highlight it a little. Just like if you weren't a photographer or an editor, you would never notice that there was a little hint of um, darkness, darkness, <laughs> darkness right there. But because you do see me doing it, you're like, yeah, that makes all the difference. Make sure to do it like half on the subject and half on the backdrop to make it blend. And yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with that. I'm just going to fix the crop because I don't think she's centered. So now you see we have this image. I don't use presets. I think if you're a photographer, you should, you can use presets, just use ones that you've created yourself. Otherwise, I don't know. It's not your original work. Everyone has different opinions on that. But anyways, what we're gonna do here is just tweak. It's kind of just up to personal preference. I used to love things being um, really warm toned. Now I'm kind of in the cool tone, but for this photo, it was kind of neutral. I'm gonna take down the whites a little bit so we can see the color of her skin better. Vibrance, you already know, crank that the fuck up. Like, I like these colors. I don't really think I need to alter them too much, but if you wanted to, you could. I think this is just a little bit too much up here, this um, almost red orange. It's a little too much, so we're gonna make it a little bit more orange to make it blend in better, like that, perfect. And as I'm looking at this photo, I don't like that I put the shadow here because the shadow shouldn't be there. It should be right here, which is where I also put it. So I'm just gonna go back into Photoshop and just fix that. Um, you can just do that with clone stamp, anything like that, just to make it lighter again. Because as I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, that's not how it would look if there was um, a light coming from here. So yeah, this is what I would do in Lightroom and then I would export it, put it in Dropbox, send it to the client. But I'm just going to fix this real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. I did my first tutorial. <laughs> um, I do a lot of really short ones on TikTok. I think I mentioned that in the beginning, but I don't go into depth. I don't talk into them. I also have to leave out a lot of important things that I do in it because you only have a minute. Well, I guess TikTok's an hour, three minutes, but you guys have been DMing me, commenting, everything, just asking for like legit tutorials. And it's very like heartwarming because I love my work. I'm very proud of what I do. I wouldn't put it out if I don't. I mean, like I do work where it's like basic like e-com stuff. And yeah, I love doing that. I love just, I just love photography and all that has to do with it. But I don't post that on my Instagram or anything because I don't think it's what people want to see. You guys want to see the stylized, the big graphics, color, crazy stuff like that. So I don't post all of my work. I'd say actually I post maybe about 25% if that. So it's just really fun giving you guys like an in-depth, in it's very fun giving you guys like an in-depth look of my work and my process. And yeah, when I usually edit, I don't have bright lights behind me. I don't have bright lights in front of me. I am sitting in bed literally at 3 a.m. drinking a really old Starbucks, which I got that for the occasion today, and eating unhealthy food. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain it well, or just you have comments, please let me know. I will, you can comment them here or on uh, Instagram DMs. I try to answer them all. I just do get overwhelmed with all of them. So give me some time, you know, keep pinging me. Let me know if you need help. And I would love to, I hope you guys like this. Um, I'm gonna try and do this edit with me, edit with Meg. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call it yet, but. 
I'm gonna do this series. Maybe I'll post um, a new tutorial every Sunday. I still have to edit my tour vlog from being on tour with Tinashe and um, Rayami. So if you guys would love to know what it's like being a tour photographer on a concert tour, I would love to do that. I vlogged it all, so I would just love to put that all together and do that. So maybe I'll just post every Sunday. I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any requests for what the photo I should edit and show you how to edit for next week is, please let me know. I would love to, you know, just pick the most popular image that people want to know how I did it, and I think that could be really fun. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for giving me a platform. Like, it's like really crazy. Like, when I walk around, like, it's ridiculous. When I walk around, like, the city cause in New York, um, like people know me. Like I was in like a business meeting the other day. Uh, we were get I was getting coffee with some people from a job I might be taking. Like literally, someone stopped in the middle of the sidewalk and said, "Are you the photographer from TikTok?" And I was like, "Yeah." I don't know. It's like very weird. I love it so much, but it's like, I me like what? Anyways, yeah. Oh my god, did I look like this the entire video? Jesus. I will make sure I wash my hair before next week's video. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you. Can't wait to see your photos. If you use any of my techniques, tag me.